welcome back to my channel so today i am going to install this 613 tea part wig let me give you a little bit of details on this wig um this is a tea part wig there is a lace shortage when i got this wig it was back in i want to say like end of august early september i needed a wig for my birthday i wanted to go blonde and they didn't have no frontals no more. I just feel like 2020 has really been trying to like, like really punch me. Um, but yeah, I had to settle for a tea part wig. So basically what a tea part is, is um, it's like lace here and for a middle part. And then it's like only a little bit of lace right here. I had to do what I had to do. So I just want to reinstall it. You know, I'm feeling bored, feeling... You know feeling like i don't know what to do with myself so i'm just gonna switch my hair i feel like that's probably the best like kind of therapy for a lot of girls um especially if you're like me and you're at home doing absolutely nothing so yeah i'm just gonna do my hair you see me looking down it's just my camp my mirror is here i like to try on the wig first before i actually like start gluing just so that it can be in place. And I think that is probably one of the best methods that I use because um, it fits that way, it, like it fits right to your head um, and you don't have to worry about adjusting it once you're like ready to glue it. And But it also helps with like, when you have a new wig um, and you adjust it right like, correctly, you'll be um, thanking yourself basically in the future when you're like re-wearing your wigs because um, you don't have to like play with the lace or anything and all that stuff. So now I'm gonna flip it back. Um, depending on the wig, like you might be able to flip it back or you might be able to just push it back. But for this, I'm gonna flip it. Um, I'm gonna spray some got to be right all over here. Ooh. Oh, that's cold. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like to do a layer first. Ooh, and then I'm gonna go on my blow dryer. I'm cool. Okay, so I have a little bit of a um, coat. It's a little sticky. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna put on the lace as I lay it. But I like to get my forehead sticky a little bit or my skin sticky a little bit so that the lace has something to adhere to at first. And we're going to, and make sure nothing is rolled. I hate that when the lace is rolled and then you gotta fix it. Um, I'm gonna get my clips out again. And I like to do it in sections. And if you don't want to use your finger, you can use a comb. And I like to make sure I push the hair back. So I'm really just getting the lace as well melted. I hope y'all can see this. It'd be really awkward if you couldn't. And you see how I'm just getting the comb and pushing that back. I'm gonna do the same on this side as well. I like to blow dry upwards, like away from my face to kind of put the hair in that direction as well. So you can really get the lace to melt. Okay, that is stuck, honey. See, this got to be, it really don't take that much time. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Y'all be doing the most with y'all glue and y'all got to be gel. And I used to do it too. I still do it sometimes, but honey chow, let me tell you, got to be spray will have you right together. And it can last for two days. I personally don't, or or you could take it off that same day. 
I personally don't like to wear my wigs to sleep, but if I'm like doing something for the weekend, like I'm gonna keep it on and it'll it'll last. Like you know what I mean? Um, instead of all that got to be gel and glue and the glue and ghost bond, like I get it. I get it. You want a frontal to last, but frontals aren't really meant to last that long, like in my opinion. Alright, so now I'm gonna do the other side. Y'all know the scarf is a very important step of the frontal laying process. So I'm going to fold this joint. You got to get it thick and and also like thick and like, <laughs> I was about to say thick and girth, but I don't think that is the word. Thick and like layers, but thin in um, width. All right, so I'm going to lay this scarf like so per but I'm gonna come back to the styling and stuff I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show y'all and it look cute it's gonna be a whole little transformation period all right y'all so I'm done my makeup I'm got to do my hair now so I want to do some like big curls I think I'm gonna start from the back and I'm gonna clip. And what I like to do is straighten first. And you can straighten with a comb or a brush, depending on if you're rushing or not, to be honest. Um, I like to straighten first and then curl because because I wash this hair. Um, it's like wavy for some reason, even though it's supposed to be straight, but ooh, it's hot. Careful. And then I'm gonna curl. Cause I hate when I end up curling my hair and you see that it's still, um, it's still like, uh, wavy at the roots. I hate that. Wow. I look straight like a Barbie. Like that's crazy. hair is like genuinely like Barbie like Barbie hair like and it was so yellow before I had to actually um it was so yellow I had to I had to tone it but the way I toned it was actually with shimmer lights I didn't tone it with a toner I toned it by doing like a watercolor method with the shimmer lights um so basically I had a tub of hot water put some shimmer lights shampoo in there the purple one and then dip my hair in and I didn't want it to turn gray or anything so I did it really quickly but honestly if I wanted a different like shade of blonde I probably would have kept it in there for a little longer I'm not gonna hold you I just want to get that real straight before I curl it
down to the side. Alright y'all, so this is the final look. Um, I went ahead and added some concealer, fixed the front a little bit to flatten it, and finished the curls. And I hope you enjoyed this video of me doing my hair. Um, yeah, <laughs> be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you want to see. And also make sure you're following me on social media. Follow me on Instagram because you'll definitely see a lot of me there and you'll see how I get to rock these looks. Okay. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.